Hey folks, Fit is back and today we're going to be discussing a topic which I already touched based on in the past, which is about how to level up, how to reach your desired rank, like becoming ace or eventually even legend. I'm going to have a follow up video, maybe in a few days time where I talk about specifically the guns you should be using and the loadout, but today it's going to be more like about um, how to approach the ranking. Uh, which maps you should play and which game modes. Before I jump into the maps or any other specific details, there's one thing I want you to understand. So you need to decide whether you want to rank up and focus on getting the highest rank possible or you want to increase your storage value. Because these two things are somewhat contradictory. And I think many of you are watching high-end gamers, streamers, people who are very successful in the game and obviously they have high rank and they have high storage value but this is not going to be true for many of you because in order to rank up high well you will need to spend money and basically by spending money and risking money you're gonna put yourself into a situation where your rank may go upwards but your storage value is going to be decreasing or not moving at all so this is something as a heads up you really need to think about whether you want to make money or you want to do pvp and rank up you can actually do it side by side so actually having like a day dedicated for farming coin and then on tuesday you farm rank points or whatever you it's it's up to you just just figure it out but hop into the game with the mindset i mean decide if it's gonna be like a coin making session or a pvp session Maybe one day you're going to get to the point where you don't need to think about that and you're just going to make money by playing the game and then also rank up. But let's face it, majority of the players are not there yet and I want to help you reaching Ace and Legend. I think those are two major milestones. Ace is, let's say, relatively easy because many of the game modes give you rank points and you can kind of more easily achieve Ace. The grind between Ace to Legend, that's more sweaty, it requires a bit more attention, uh, but we'll get there. Let's start with reaching Ace. Assuming that you are early in the Master, like Master 5 or something, you have different options. At the moment, we have Isolation mode. We have Isolation Normal and Lockdown. That's definitely something I want to bring to your attention because that's easy, easy rank points. And there is a balance in loadout, so you don't need to be worried about uh, being killed by thermal players or um, giga chat. So that's definitely one of the options. This is actually one of the things what I want to highlight um, for like both master to ace and also ace to legend. Because if you are early in ace, you can use isolation now until it's available to get very close to legend because you can grind up until to ace one. But that game mode is not going to be in the game forever. Uh, definitely use it now. Maybe we're going to have it until the end of the season. And then at the end of the season, we obviously are going to have the rush mode, which is like giving you the final opportunity, the final push. So definitely when we get there and you don't have your desired rank yet, then rush mode is the game mode you should be playing. But outside of these two special game modes, from master to ace, I would recommend you to play port normal port okay because there's a lot of pvp happening you are in danger because of the scavs but if you're going to master the map then it's going to give you tons of opportunity to get better in pvp and uh, you don't need to wait endlessly long to find pvp you will understand lots about the game like sound prints and such so port is my number one recommendation if you haven't reached ace yet the final goal is going to be to jump into TV station lockdown version. So where we have the 30k requirement, that's going to be our main target. And that's going to be also our main target if you want to reach legend and if you are at the moment ace. So TV station guys, 30k loadout, that's the place where you can grind rank points in this season. And that's the place where you will improve a lot. And let me explain why. Okay, there's a reasoning behind that. I don't want you to play farm. Definitely no farm uh, lockdown version because in farm, 
There are some some high-end players, there are lots of terminal players, especially if you reach Ace and you start playing in Legend lobbies, then every second, third, fourth game you're gonna face terminal players, which is gonna, again, like, lead to losing rank points, so you don't want that. And also, farm is, I think, one of the most complicated maps in the game, because you need to be good in close range, you need to be um, also good in, in mid-range and long-range, depending where you are and how you move um, on the map. So it's pretty complex. It's way more complex uh, compared to what many think about farm. So I would definitely avoid playing farm. Although I know it's the starting map and it's the most played map, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Valley and Northridge pretty much fall into the same category. There are big distances and because of that it just doesn't really make sense to play those maps if you want to farm rank points because you're going to spend most of your time like running, running from one location to the other. There's one thing I, I, I want to add on top of everything. So regardless of your loadout, your uh, skill level, there's going to be always games where you just suddenly die out of nowhere, even if you're playing it right. Even the high-end players, they, they, they also die in the game. So there is no strategy for arena breakout, which uh, makes you like uh, invincible. So avoid Valley and, and Northridge um, if you wanna farm rank points. Northridge, by the way, is very good if you wanna farm coin. So if you're focusing on the hotel and you have the keys, then definitely that's a very good map, but not really for farming uh, rank points. And we have Armory, which is actually not a bad decision if you want to farm rank points, but due to the nature of the map and how it's being designed and uh, the bots and the extractions, I feel like TV Station is a much better place. So all in all, this brings us back to Port and TV Station, but I do not recommend you to play Port Lockdown version. It's just dangerous because on Port, there are many high skilled players. They are holding like unbelievable angles and you're gonna lose more rank points than what you can gain from that map in the Lockdown version. But until Ace, Port is like perfect. If you are a master and you feel that you are good enough to jump straight into the TV station, then do that. That's the best map. So out of every game mode, out of every of the maps we have at the moment, TV station lockdown mode is the best map to farm rank points. Isolation is also nice, the lockdown version and even the normal version. But again, you have to run a lot. You are spending time and it's not guaranteed that you're going to get the kills. But if you master TV station, that's the place where you can get two, three, four, five, six kills in a game and you can reach your rank point cap every single game. And if you are good enough and have a bit of luck, then you can even extract multiple times. And if you are now thinking that Shady, what the hell are you talking about? It's like TV station is a graveyard and I'm going to get smoked and there are tons of rats and stuff like that. Well, my advice would be that you just have to get used to it. This is like a hardcore game and uh, it's not getting easier. It's actually the opposite. Players are getting better and better. So you're going to face better players on master level than what we had in season one and season two. So Try to get familiar with the feeling that danger is kind of everywhere. I think it's manageable. It comes back to like what type of mindset you applied in general. If you have like gear fear and all kind of stuff. I have multiple videos where I covered that topic. Like for example, the um, why you suck at the Reno breakout. You can watch that. But basically you need to be mentally prepared to jump into TV station with the goal to do PvP. If you are with that mindset, then you can start doing that. And loadout wise and um, uh, which guns to pick, I'm gonna cover that in another video because it would be just too much for this one. And guys, this video wasn't scripted. I was just really talking about the maps and the game modes. So just as a summary, isolation mode, port if you are not ready to do TV station and then do TV station. But TV station 30k mode, okay? It doesn't make sense to play the 80k version. Do that if you are good enough and you already reached your rank point or rank level and you want to test yourself against T5 players to eventually compete against them, grab their stuff. 
but that's next level. That's a different story. That's more like for players who are already at legend and they want to go for the legend 50 stars or whatever. Okay. But this is purely for ranking up isolation port normal and TV station lockdown. I have actually two, no, three off topics, which I want to mention in this video still. First one is the Ironclad skin collection. I definitely want you to check that out. This is not sponsored, by the way. I personally feel that this is a nice skin, although it's not that like military type of skin. I think it's badass and it looks cool. So definitely check it out and give me feedback on what you think about, for example, the pricing. Okay, because I had another video like addressing the prices of skins. Um, let me know if you like the ironclad skin in general, um, the, the, the clothes and then also the weapon skins. And let me know what you think about the pricing. Second thing I want to bring up is that let me know in this video if you are still interested to get Arena Breakout Infinite PC version beta keys. Okay, I have a chance to get even more. And the third one is actually a big thank you because I'm about to reach 3000 subscribers, which is amazing guys. And, and I just want to thank you. And also on discord, I'm close to having 200 members on discord. It's a pretty fresh discord and I'm absolutely proud, proud of you guys. And thanks for all the support. I wish you good luck with the ranking thing. And actually there's a fourth thing I wanted to mention. So I'm planning to do live stream sessions. And if I do, then most likely the agenda will be simply playing with you guys, with viewers. And uh, instead of like just regularly playing the game, my intention is going to be to support you ranking up and um, and getting you some loot. So I'm going to play in a way where I switch kind of into a supportive mode so I can help you ranking up and help you getting loot. Thank you guys for watching again, wishing you good luck to reach your rank level. Shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.